What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we did it. <sighs> yes, we won another badge. Our third badge, you know, it's nothing too big. You know, just kind of feeling a little, uh, yeah, feeling a little uh, strong after that. And, uh, well, it is now time for us to go for another badge, and that is over at Fuchsia City. Now, there is a maybe one thing that I kind of want to do, kind of, I say kind of, and that is, let's see, let's see, yes, go right here, because, well, we kind of we kind of want to get all our Pokemon together. Now, if you go into this house, I, I think there is something that you can actually grab right here, let's see. Oh yeah, Togepri, she, she says hi, or he, or I don't even know. Uh, if you cruise down the cycling road, you will end up in Fuchsia City. Okay. And, uh, hello, hello. Would you like to hear a trendy saying? Yes. Very well. Trendy saying for you, you say, is... Ebiquit... Uh, what? Ebiquitous. Ebiquit... I can't even pronounce that. That's the trendy sort of thing to say. Yeah, that's not... I can't even say it, god dang it. Okay, so... <laughs> Alright. Um... It looks like to me we're gonna have to make a quick switch, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're back, guys, and well, we got ourselves uh, our good old buddy Fluffle back. Okay, so now it is time for us to go straight into the uh, cycling road. As many of you guys already know, you do need a, a, a cycle or a, a a bike, and he's like, "You stop right there! You have to have to go. You have to be on a bike to go to cycling road." And well, I don't know why I'm doing that. Hold on, I need to press the other button right here. So. There we go. Don't say anything to me. Okay, so Cycling Road, as many of you guys already know, we do need a bike, and we're going to be battling quite a few trainers around here. And while we're, you know, while we're on that, we're just going to be battling, you know, we're just going to be talking about a few things. Look at that, there's a gold pin. Holy crud. So, yes. Take a look at that below the, the description, guys. Yes, your boy Draven finally got himself a merch store. Something that we've been working for for a long, long, and I mean long time. And, uh, you know, again, this this, this right here wouldn't have happened if uh, I didn't have the, su the support from you guys. So, again, thank you guys for allowing this to happen. And if you guys wish to buy some merch right down there, you know, support your boy Draven, that'd be great. Nothing's being forced or anything like that. Just, you know, take a look. Eventually, I'm going to be a little bit more creative with the merch. You know, I kind of wanted to do, like, you know... Uh, gym Leader Draven uh, Protein Shaker cups and all that stuff, but they don't really have that stuff right there, so it is what it is. We're gonna be doing what we gotta do. Eventually, you know, like I said, we're gonna... Eventually, we're gonna, we're gonna expand and all that stuff, so here we have another guy wanting to battle us. We're gonna be switching it up. Let's give everybody a little bit of a, a love right here. And that flamethrower attack will get us all, 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 or, like, all hurt and stuff, so here we go. Water gun attack, or not water gun. And we're gonna keep on battling right here. And a good thing is that we are stocked up on full restore, so yes, yeah, speeding this up. Let's go. Waterfall attack for the win, and again, we get burned. Holy crud. You gotta love being burned and all that stuff, so here we go. Modding my bike, I cost some money. I need a job. Don't we all? Okay, so yes, let's go right ahead and switch this guy out to Dark Side. As many of you guys don't know, Earthquake. We've learned Earthquake, so here we go, and we're getting our butts kicked right now, but Earthquake does the trick, and here comes a Tentacool. This should be a Pokemon that we, uh, you know, should be easy to beat. So here we go, Extra Sensory. We're gonna have to fly, because this guy is gonna hit us physically, and... Oh my god, nearly beat him! There we go, okay, so there, there it is, Togepri! Huh. Level 42, not going to use Baton Pass because, yeah, it's not really a move that we kind of need right now. And, okay, so why do we speed up? Okay, hold on, press that. Okay, I'm trying to stop here, and wow, okay, so never mind, we're just going to be battling everybody. And there is Teddy Ursa, we needed to heal up our Pokemon, so let's see. Teddy Ursa, meet Hercules. Now, I really wish I... Had I known that Pokemon Soul Silver had Teddy Ursa on, on the game, I would have chosen it. Would have brought back uh, Teddy. That's one of the mo that's one of the original Pokemon that I've used starting up this channel and all that crud. And yes, I got some nerve. And yes, okay. So let's go ahead and get his phone number. And okay, puzzle gym trick. Okay, I don't care. Stop talking. Okay, so let's go right ahead. Let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon. But like I was saying. 
Uh, yeah, had I known that Pokemon Soul Silver had Teddy Ursa to begin with, then, you know, I probably would have returned right there just to, you know, just to bring back Teddy. Teddy, you know, since we started the original Pokemon Crystal in that Act 2 play, uh, well, yeah, the Act 2 play, yeah, that Pokemon was a prayer that was a powerhouse, and it would have, I guess it would have, it would have done great right here. Alright, let's go. Extra Sensory. All right, look at that, Togepi, kicking some butt, taking some names, and there it is. Okay, that's the reason why. That's the reason why we got that Pokemon back. And well, here comes a double battle. So, yeah, it would have done well right here, but you know, I decided to go the opposite way, mainly because, let's see, mainly because I didn't finish the COVID version of uh, of our Pokemon uh, Heart Gold's uh, Heart Gold walkthrough. So that's a bad on me, but we're getting close to where we we last ended. And, well, here comes an extra sensory and a flamethrower attack, and just like that, it's a victory for us. Oh my god, okay, so here we go. There it is, and there we go. We defeated this guy, getting some more points, and our mother is calling us because, well, she keeps on buying berries. Mom, like, buy us something awesome, like, I don't know, a shiny stone or something for Togepi. I mean, it can, it can evolve right here, and look at that. Okay, dark side grows a little 49. Let's go right ahead and go with Cinder right here, and go straight for a flamethrower attack. And here comes Magmar, so let's go straight for Nessie. All right, finish this Pokemon off. Waterfall for the win. There it is. Okay, alrighty. And well, we got two more. It's probably a good thing that we've been speeding this this whole thing up, guys, because holy crud. Yeah, this would have been bad. And okay, so now we need to heal up our Pokemon. Yeah, this would have been a whole episode that you guys probably wouldn't have watched, and so, yeah. So here we go, extra sensory for the win, and just like that, Togepi is, well, it's getting up to par with most of our Pokemon right here. And, hey, hey, hey you're in my way, in my way! Hmm. I don't think so. Okay, so here comes Skaroopy, and, well, let's go with a fly attack right here. Fly attack again. For the win, and look at that, Togepi gets the level 43, and our mother calling us again because, well, she can't stop buying berries. And, well, here we go. We are Fearless Highway Stars. You don't, you, you don't, you don't think so. So here we go, Extra Sensory, and yes, we're going to keep on, wow, okay, so Dark Side is the only Pokemon that, <laughs> that gets it, and well, let's see, let's go with Fluffle. And man, a Charmander, that would have been awesome to actually have. So here we go, Discharge. And look at that, okay, so here we are, finally, getting into Fuchsia City. And we got we got more Pokemon trainers right here. And as many of you guys already know, this place is a home to the bird type trainers that we actually, well, we can actually find right here. So let's go right ahead. And, well, let's see, Cycling Road is a quick shortcut to Celadon. So let's go ahead and press this. Let's go with a discharge attack. And there we go again. Level 45 Flood Vault. Yes, we're kicking some butt, taking some names. And yes, we're gonna get attacked by some Pokemon like Fiora right here. And well, let's see what this Pokemon trainer has to say. Okay, what's up? Here we go. Discharge attack. And yes, our quick claw is actually working for once. Holy crud. And yes, this is all training for our good old buddy. Uh, Fluff Bolt, and just like that, we get some more points and more more money. Nobody's there, just two. And we are now officially in Fuchsia City. And, uh, well, home to the Fuchsia City gym. So what we're going to do right now, guys, is I'm going to heal up my Pokemon first, and then we're going to take a small tour of the Fuchsia City gym, or the Fuchsia, or Fuchsia City. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are in Fuchsia City, guys, and uh, we're going to be taking a small tour of this place. Now, first thing is first, if you go right here, talk to this individual. My grandpa is at my brother's, uh, my brother Bill's uh, on, on Cerulean Cape. Okay, so Grandpa's over there. As many of you guys already know, Bill is over in Goldenrod. I saw these weird, slow Pokemon on the cycling road. Hmm. Kind of what? Oh, probably thinking of Slowpoke or something. But Fuchsia City, home to what was the Safari Zone and all that stuff. All we already know where the Safari Zone's at. And, well, if you talk to this guy, 
that's Amphros, okay, never mind. And it's happily cuddling with you, yes. My grandpa closed the safari zone and it is now, uh, and now that we have uh, an empty lot, my dad decided to run the PAL park. It seems to be catching and releasing Pokemon uh, runs in my family, okay. That is true. So, as many of you guys already know, the PAL park is right here, and if you guys take, uh, if you guys, you know, took a look at my Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough, the original version, we managed to send in some Pokemon from previous versions in the Nintendo Game Boy Advance. We are going to be doing this a little bit later on in our adventure because, well, eventually we're going to have to be battling, uh, what's his face? Yeah, we're going to be battling, uh, Red, and we're going to be needing a team because it looks like to me our team right now is not up to it, but we will get there. We will eventually get there. So, there, like I said, there's really not a lot that you can actually find here in, uh, in Fuchsia City except for just what used to be. And uh, there is one little... There is just one more thing that you need to uh, take a look at in Fuchsia City before before you finish off... Uh, well, before you go into the Pokemon Gym, and that is right here. If... You come down, actually talk to this guy. The beach in Route 19 is closed and definitely due to the Cinnabar volcano's vo uh, volcano eruption. I wonder if the people in Cinnabar are safe. That is true. We're trying to find that out. Okay, so let's go right back down. And as you guys can see, this place is closed off for the time being. I have removed the boulder that was uh, in the way, but it still takes some time to flatten the ground. Sorry, this road is closed for construction. If you want to get to Cinnabar, you'd better go south to Paladown. Okay, so we have to go to Paladown, which is kind of funny. Anywho, guys, it is time to go for our fourth badge, not going in here. And uh, let's go right here. Okay, so here we have the Fuchsia City Gym. The leader is Janine and the Poisonous Ninja Master. This used to be the gym for Fuchsia, and as many of you guys already know now, Fuchsia is, uh, or, you know, Koga is in the Elite Four. And just like always, there are invisible walls and you have to locate Janine. So, let's see. Yo, legend in the making! Whoops! Take a good look around. The trainers all look like, uh, gym leader Janine. Which of them is the real Janine? Well, I'll figure that out. And, well, before we battle this one person right here, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Dark Side right here. Let's do it. And I'm Janine. How'd you know I was real? Let's battle. And or not. And yeah, it wasn't going to come that easy. If it came that easy, then what was the point? So here comes Picnicker Cindy coming out with her Nido Queen. And Earthquake is going to do it. There it is. And if you guys remember, like in the original versions, how, like, my question, like, okay, I would get it because in the original versions, you had uh, you had a, a you had Pokemon trainers with psychic type Pokemon with I guess you know psychic or poison capabilities and all that stuff and let's go ahead and battle her first because I kind of feel like that's Janine right down there so let's go ahead and battle this trainer and well she is coming out with some grass type Pokemon and I would normally I would have normally called this gym like the um, the strategic gym because a lot of these Pokemon use a lot of like move like a little uh, status effectors and all that crud, all that b BS and all that crud. Okay, so here we go, earthquake attack. We're kicking some butt, taking some names, and there it is. And well, I think that I think that's Janine. No, it's not. Okay, so we're gonna be battling him, and well, let's see. This is gonna be something. We're going to be going with a Aerial Ace. That did a trick. Okay, so Aerial Ace for the win. And just like that, we win. Okay, so he's a boy. And there's nothing wrong with the boy dressing up as Janine. I'm not... I'm, I'm, I'm that tolerant. Now, I do believe... Okay, that's not Janine. Okay, sorry to disappoint you. I'm only joking. I'm the real deal. Janine of the Fuchsia City Gym, that's me. Okay, so... Never mind. Here it is, guys. Gym battle number 12, and that is against gym leader Janine. And, yeah, she's going to be coming out with a Crobat, so this is going to be difficult. And as always, we're going to be speeding this through because, well, shoot. And here comes a wing attack. Paralyzes Crobat, so here we go. An advantage for the win. That's how you do it. Okay, so here comes a Weezing. Let's go to the secret weapon. Not Nessie, but let's go with Togepi. 
Togepri, extra sensory right here, and here comes the toxic attack. That right there will mess us up every single turn, and it gets worse and worse, guys, so just keep an eye out for that, and yes, we're getting hurt. And here comes Ariados, so let's go straight for Cinder. And Cinder is going to be going straight for the flamethrower attack right here. Let's get it. Flamethrower, about to finish off Ariados. And that right there does it. How's it feel to fail? Not so good. And, well, Gym Leader Janine is going to be coming out with another area dose right here. So let's go right ahead and continue on with a flamethrower attack right here. Look at that. Oh, my God. Look at that. And that right there finishes off area dose. Okay, alrighty, and well, Darkseid doing its thing, and well, here comes Venomoth, so let's continue on with Cinder. And, well, Venomoth right here, level 50, is like, you've got a great battle technique. Yes, I do. Flame throw attack. For the win. And, uh, oh my god, Venomoth. Not loving me. It is not loving me, look at that. For the win, Venomoth. Destroyed. Okay, Darkseid gets some points, and Janine has been defeated. He's like, so, so strong! Yes, I am very strong. Okay! I see, you have defeated Koga, my father, the member and member of the Elite Four, to come here. No wonder you are strong. You definitely won. Here's the Soul Badge. Take it. Throwing out the peace sign, guys. I am throwing out the peace sign. Alrighty. You're so tough, I have a special t a gift. It's Poison Jab, a powerful poison type move that may poison its victim. And there it is. We get ourselves the TM84 Poison Jab. I'm going to be, or I'm going to really apply myself to improve my skills. I want to become much better than both my father and you. Okay. And, well, she's going to be saying the same thing and all that stuff. Anywho, yes, we win. And I completely forgot about that poison. So let's go ahead and use that full heal. Yeah, I don't want to be bothered by that. So, there it is, guys. Four, four gym battles in a row. That right there gets us to 12 total. Now we got four more to go and all that crud. In the next episode, I am really, really dreading this one right here, guys, because you guys already know how I feel about this, this one, this, this place right here. And Baoba has been messaging us, and he's like, "Oh, hi, Draven. Warden Baoba." We've come up with new objects. With these, you should be able to meet lots of different Pokemon. Huh. And we haven't done anything at all, so... Okay. Uh, let's see. Koga Daughter succeeded him as a gym leader after he joined the Elite Four. That is true. Like I was saying, guys. Uh, holy crud. Yeah, like I was saying. Uh, yeah, I am dreading this next episode because, yeah, it is, uh, it is a pain in my you-know-what. But we're going to have to do it because, well, we kind of need to get this game done. So, thank you guys again for uh, watching, for, you know, being uh, being uh, being supportive and being patient as always. In the next episode, we will be taking a side quest all of Route 16, 14, 12. I do not know, but you know what I mean. I will be right back for another episode. I'll see you guys.